what the technique. Welcome to the uh, second video in the series. Uh, earlier this year in June, I attended the National Academy of Future Physicians and Medical Scientists in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I was awarded the scholarship through school and it was a really great opportunity. And so today I'm here with Mr. Pettengale, Director of External Relations here at college, uh, to talk about how the association with the academy and future docs started. So, sir, how did it start? It was one of those things, Lewis, where there was a random telephone call into me one day from a chap called um, Dave Butler, who's American. He runs um, a, an NGO called um, Youth Futures International. And I didn't normally take those kind of calls. It was a cold call. He was speaking at another school, but he asked if he could come over and see me. So as is my um, want, really, I decided to grab that opportunity, have a coffee with Dave, and just get to know him a little mm. bit. That opened up a whole... Uh, arena of things really for us, opportunities with the school. Um, I found out that Dave was running a charity that worked with young people with HIV, particularly in uh, Africa and in South America. And that resonated with me because I've done some work in Ethiopia, so there was a real connection between the two of us. I then asked Dave if he would come over and speak to our sixth form at the series that I run called The Edge. Um, that's designed to bring back old Elsmerians, parents, contacts, to really inspire our sixth form into different career paths, but also just generally get them fired up about yeah. different things that are happening in the world. And so Dave came over and did a fantastic speech for us and to, spoke to the sixth form. That I then understood from him that he, he also represented the Congress that you went to, the uh, national organization over in, in Boston. And through a very generous offer, he was able to fund your brother, actually. He was yes, the first yeah. one to go. Three years ago, he went out as an ambassador mm -hmm. to the Medical Congress, came back absolutely raving about it, and over the last two years, on full scholarships, that they have funded 10 of our students to go yeah. out. And I think I just heard today in the common room, actually, that every one of those 10 students, I think, is now studying medicine or looking to move on to medicine. So, very, very inspirational, but it started just on taking a phone call and inviting you to speak. Yeah, well, I remember when Ben went, I was still in secondary school yeah. and I remember thinking, oh god, this opportunity is incredible, I'm never going to be able to do that, it's amazing. And then suddenly four years on, after complaining to mum and dad, thinking, god, <laughs> Ben's doing this, I'm never going to be able to do this, yeah, yeah. I'm there in Boston, yeah. sat in similar seating and, uh, and it's happening. Yeah. So given now the global shortage of new doctors and yeah. the current situation of the NHS, why do you think our partnership between Ellesmere and the Academy is so important? I think one of the things that it does, if you imagine five to six thousand high achieving mm. high school students from the States, all in the same room, mm. all absolutely passionate about medicine, yeah. that in itself does something to yeah, you. you. You get very, very inspired, not just by speakers, and some of the speakers are awesome, but actually by your own peers. Yeah. And you suddenly realise there's a whole movement uh, of students that are actually passionate about helping people, getting involved in medicine in all sorts of different spheres, and that itself is inspirational. Mm -hmm. Then you add to that professors from MIT, from Harvard, from Stanford, and some of the, you know, the, the, I think the most inspirational story I heard was about the lady who had the first full transplant, yeah, the face transplant in America. America. And that she was playing classical piano, and, and this young girl came on stage and did interpretive dance with that. Mm -hmm. And then you discover that that girl doing the dance yeah. is the daughter of the, her mum, was the, the lady who gave, donated her skin really through, uh, through her own death. So incredible, inspiring stories. So if you imagine 5,000 kids all doing that, what is remarkable for us is we were, up until this year, we are the only school outside of mm. America that gets invited in to that Congress. Mm. So it's a real privilege for our kids to say 10 over the last two years and then looking now for a race scholarships as well yeah. this year we can offer so fantastic opportunity yeah and i think as well just to go on top of the the, the speakers and the patients the surgeons all incredible but for us british students going over the contrast you have to see the american students as well yeah it's such a nice mix because yeah. you're, you're we were five there was four four of the girls and then myself over there and you're in you know mixed with these four thousand five thousand american delegates and you're just making friends. Yeah. You're just having to yeah. make contact. And I'm still in contact with five of the people out there now. It's, yeah. it's such, such a great opportunity. It's a real privilege. Yeah. Uh, obviously something that we didn't get to do because we were at the Academy for Medical Scientists yes. was the SciTech conference. Yeah. So what, I don't really know too much about that, but what about yourself? SciTech is the sister uh, congress, really. It, it always felt an awkward time for us. But actually, again, through 
the meeting I had with the owner of the company, the, uh, the National Academies in the States, uh, Richard Rossi, I met with him uh, three weeks ago in London. And uh, they've managed to adjust the dates for us, and we've got now four scholarships, full scholarships, to take students out to SciTech. SciTech is a whole different ball game. It's all about technology, robotics, genome technology. Um, but again, you, you imagine that the whole the, the whole thing is fronted by Buzz Aldrin, who was yeah. the second man to walk on it. You imagine having a coffee with Buzz Aldrin, <laughs> and sitting down yeah. and a chat with an astronaut. Um, Amy Hess, who's the assistant director of the FBI, who comes in and talks about all the kind of quite controversial methods they have in terms of uh, controlling counterintelligence and terrorism, but uh, surveillance mechanisms, all that kind of thing. You've got the guy who invented Siri for Apple. Yeah. Um, you know, they've got robots walking around that were invented by various yeah. people. It's an awesome experience. So four of our students will be going out there yeah. this summer as well. Very lucky, very lucky. So on top of that then, where do you see Ellesmere and the Academy's relationship going? Well, we've clearly developed a very strong partnership with these guys and Richard Rossi has been very generous and, and Dave opened the door for us, as I say, right at the beginning. What I'm doing now is helping them um, e expose the academies to the UK school market. So from my point of view, I, I don't just want to hold this within Ellesmere, I would love to see hundreds of students going out from the UK, whether they're in a private school or a maintained sector. Um, Rich is looking at developing some more scholarships for them. Um, there's a teacher set up, so again, if they bring five students, one of the teachers, teaching staff can go with them. So we're really looking to, to open this up to the UK now and see many, many more young people going out from the UK over to Boston to experience the same as you have. Yeah, fantastic. And obviously, you know, I spoke about the mix of the five British students with the 4,000 delegates to increase the number of UK students. Yeah. It would be absolutely yeah. unbelievable. And that's been obviously pioneering that. And you're such an honour as well when you guys are out there because everybody loves your accent. Well, well that's, it, that's it. That's it. What yeah. can you do? What I get those five contacts you stay in contact with. They're all girls. I guess. That's well, what can I say? Yes. What can I say? I'm not surprised. Yeah. It was fantastic, really great experience. So obviously I was very lucky to go and the, um, the students going this year are very, uh, really looking forward to it. So thanks for listening and join us next time on our series of Lewis Meets.